today we're stacking up our food with a Mexican inspired tortilla stack. This is a simple dinner dish that's fun and delicious. So let's get straight into it and prepare our vegetables. I'll start by finely dicing some white onion. Fried onions add a lot of flavour to food. I've also got some celery I need to use up, so I'll dice it up fairly finely too. Carrots are a cheap, readily available vegetable all year round, so they're great for bulking out recipes and they always work nicely in this dish. I also have some Swiss chard or silver beet, which is a great source of extra iron. Today I'm going to cut out the tough stem and shred mine. The easiest way to shred leafy greens is to roll them into a tight bundle and slice them. This helps to get them nice and fine. And I have a clove of garlic to crush. This recipe works well with any vegetables you have on hand. You can also make this vegetarian by substituting the mince for more vegetables and beans. I'm going to start by frying the onion, celery, carrot and garlic in a little oil for a few minutes to give it a little bit of colour. If you like your food with a bit more heat and flavour, now is the time to add in those chilies and spices. I'm keeping mine mild today so the kids don't turn up their nose at it. Then we can add in the beef mince and sear it, breaking it up as you go. This doesn't usually take very long. Then I like to add a tin of chopped tomatoes and stir it around. Then a tin of black kidney beans and stir them around. These are just what I have on hand, but you can add anything that's a little saucy to this. Beans, of course, are what really add the Mexican feel to this dish. We need to cook it out a bit to thicken and reduce the sauce. If it's looking a bit runny, just thicken it with a cornflour slurry. If it's too wet, it'll make the tortilla go all soggy, which isn't very appetising. When it looks like it's almost ready, it's time to add the leafy greens and give it a stir around. Don't forget to season it, and you guessed it, give it a stir around. I can see this is ready because the liquid is taking time to rejoin. So we've got our Mexican inspired mince mix, some store bought tortillas, and some grated cheese. Let's get stacking. To assemble our tortilla stack, we simply spoon on some of our Mexican mince and layer it up. I just do it on an oven tray like this, but you could also do it in a springform cake tin if you like. That helps to keep it contained. You can also add a bit of cheese in between each layer to help stick it all together. When you've used up all the mince, finish it with a final tortilla and a generous amount of cheese. Some people refer to this as a Mexican lasagna. Now we can pop it in the oven for a few minutes to grill the cheese. While it's in the oven, I'm going to make a quick guacamole to go with this. I have a nice ripe avocado. Doesn't it look delicious? I'm going to finely dice some red capsicum. This will add a nice pop of colour. I've also got some red onion to dice. This will give a lovely tang to the guacamole. Oh, and if you have some fresh coriander, it's amazing how this adds to the flavour. Let's get it into a bowl and add the last two ingredients we need, which are a squeeze of fresh lemon or lime juice and a generous sprinkle of salt. Then we can start mashing. Excuse the plastic camping bowl I'm using. My mortar is too small for this and a glass bowl will just break. Using a pestle does such a good job of making a guacamole, doesn't it? But of course, a fork works too. Quick, let's get this into a nicer looking bowl. Here's our grilled Mexican tortilla stack. Let's plate it up. Doesn't it look like cutting into a savoury cake? Actually, a cake lifter or slotted tuna is quite helpful in getting it onto the plate in one piece. You can serve this with a green side salad or a salsa, but today we have our guacamole and some sour cream. Isn't this such a fun way to enjoy tortillas for dinner? 
As always, we need a garnish to finish this off. I've got a bit of extra fresh coriander to sprinkle over. Doesn't the green herb tie it all together nicely? Yum! I can't wait to dig in. If you're looking for some more simple dinner ideas, why not check out our Mediterranean style chicken nibbles? They're quick to prepare, don't take too long to cook, and they're absolutely delicious. See you over there.